All right, how's it going, everyone? So I wanted to go over the Gator bed cover. Uh, this is actually a soft bed cover. I know there's other ones out there, like the plastic ones, like the backflip covers and diamond back, which is a metal cover that's really heavy. And then they also have other roller uh, bed covers. I always go for the soft cover ones because I don't really need the extra protection that the other ones provide. And I feel perfectly fine uh, with this one as it covers what's inside of my bed when I have the bed cover closed. Uh, one of the great features of the soft bed cover, at least this one, is that you can roll it up to where it can stay out of the way if you're using the, the bed of your truck. And it also doesn't cover your rear window, which is a issue that you have when you use one of the backflips or any of the tri-fold uh, plastic bed covers. The Diamondback also has a similar situation where you really can't use the bed of your truck at all uh, unless you open it so that i never really liked that about those uh, this thing's pretty easy to install it only uses six brackets and a little bit of assembly and you, you should be ready to go this one's actually from my gen uh, 2 raptor i went ahead and took it off before i traded in my truck and now i'm throwing it on my gen 3 and it worked perfectly fine another great feature that i like about this specific soft bed covers because there's a bunch of different companies that make soft bed covers is that this one aligns to the inside of the bed uh, whereas others will uh, the edge of it will line up to the outer edge of the bed and that's something i didn't like i think it looks really ugly that way so I saw this one a while back. I actually had one on my Tundra as well. I'll go ahead and link that video on the top right corner. Um, I also show a little bit more of how to install this. So you might want to watch that video if you decide to go with this bed cover. So far, I've had no issues with this bed cover at all. I've Again, this is one that I've recycled pretty much for my Gen 2 and it, it's worked perfectly fine. So it's about 230 to 240 bucks from when I last bought it. So I might just update the pricing on the link down below.